Hello, this is Trevor Lewis. Welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to preview what the laser will see when you save your DXF file. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate the laser's view by switching our view mode. So this is an Inkscape, and this looks like this is going to cut out great in the laser. But let's just check. Let's go up to view, and we're going to change the display mode. So control five toggle that usually doesn't hasn't worked for me in the past, but maybe with this new version of Inkscape, I'll give it a shot, but I only really want to see between normal and outline. Normal is the view that I usually work in, but outline shows me just the pathways and the laser cuts on the pathways or colors inside the pathways. So if I go to outline here, you can see there's a nasty surprise waiting for me because there actually are no lines there. That's because this image is not actually a pathway. If I scroll way in here, you can see it's actually made out of pixels. This hasn't been traced yet. Oops. Keep twisting it. That's a new feature that I haven't quite gotten used to yet. Um, so I'm going to click on this and then I can trace it. And then you'll see that I have these two almost identical things, but one of these is vector and one of these is raster. And I can tell the difference by going to outline. There's the pathway. So that will laser. This will not. The thing that uh, it does not show me is the stroke information. That is actually saved in a, um, in a DXF file. Um, and actually, that control 5 is working for me, although I have to cycle through. I want outline versus... Um, just no display mode showing. So that is working for me now. I'm going to close this one. I'm not going to save it. So here's another one. And there are some, uh, this one looks also pretty good, but there are some other surprises going on here. You see, they've got a red stroke here. So the laser, that could tell the laser to use a different power setting than this one, which may have a black stroke. Um, but sometimes when you have something that with the fill turned on, sometimes there's things hiding inside. See, there's some shapes in there that I couldn't see because the fill was turned on. Sometimes people will even draw over little gaps that they have in their shape with other shapes, but then not use the uh, Boolean operators to combine them. And so that's no good. But the reason that we always switch to view display mode and outline is because even with... Uh, even with the fill m turned off on, on this corgi here, you wouldn't have seen all these circles. This is actually really, really common. What happens is when you draw something like a circle, it remembers the last settings that you used. So now that's filling that in black. But if I set the fill to none on this circle, and then I start drawing some more circles, it's going to remember last time I drew a circle, I had no fill and no stroke. So I just draw invisible circles, and then I get really frustrated until I figure out how to get the stroke on one. And then I don't realize that all of those circles I just drew, the laser will see those, and the laser will cut all of those circles. So if you work in outline mode, you can click on the outlines of these circles and delete all the ones that you don't actually want so that you can just get down to the ones that you do want. So switch, switching back and forth is helpful. One more. Okay, so this is a t-shirt design. Um, I use the t-shirt to help me figure out the scale. This design, let's check and see how the laser is going to look at this. I'm going to go display mode, outline. So you can see the t-shirt's not going to work, but this is. So before I save the DXF, I would get rid of the t-shirt, but I would keep the t-shirt in the SVG mode. That helps me get my size right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, in addition to deleting this raster graphic so that I can export this is I'm also going to change the stroke color here. So if I click on this and I hold down the shift key, I'm going to set it to red because in our laser, our shop, red is for cutting t-shirt material. But you'll notice that the line doesn't change color, which can be confusing. That's because one of the things that outline mode doesn't show, but the laser does see is the stroke color. So if you want to see the stroke color and not see the fill, you can just set the fill to none by clicking the red X, and that can help you with that too. So that's how you switch back and forth. You go to view, and you choose display mode, and you can toggle between normal and outline. Outline gives you an idea of what the laser will see when you save that DXF file.